Uh, please give us a brief introduction. Sir, my name is Madhusmita Mahapatra. I have completed my graduation from Ramadevi Autonomous Women's College, and my hobby is singing sir, old Hindi songs. Okay. So, uh, what is your roll number for this exam? 30626. Okay. So, um, what are your uh, hobbies that you have mentioned in your CIF? So, singing. Okay, singing. Um, what kind of songs you like to sing? Sir, Hindi old songs. Old Hindi songs. Old, old Hindi songs, okay. And uh, why are you interested in joining judicial service? Sir, firstly, it was my mother's wish that I should join judicial services. And sir, secondly, there is job stability and financial stability also. That's why sir, I am to join. OK. So what are the? Uh, achievements, any achievements that you want to share with us, special achievements? Sir, I got first prize in singing during my university days when I was doing my PG with Gutkal University. Okay, doing during your PG days? PG, sir, my post graduation days. Okay, okay, fine. So, then let us start with your uh, some basic questions regarding procedural law. So, um, CPC, can you tell me what is the difference between res judicata and res sub judice? Sir, the main difference between res sub judice and res sub judicata is res sub judice deals with when the suit is pending. But in race of judicata, the suit has already been decided by a competent court. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what are the conditions in which a foreign judgment cannot be executed in India? Sir, if we go to section 13, there are certain uh, conditions mentioned that if the judgment is uh, um, violating any law of India or it's not in merit, and if it is violating the natural principle of justice, then it cannot be executed in India. OK. So what do you mean by uh, an interlocutory order? And when does the court give an interlocutory order? Sir, interlocutory order is given uh, during the uh, suit when the suit is proceeding. It is uh, given so that the. Sir, I can't say. Okay. So, suppose there is a defect in territorial jurisdiction of a civil court. Will that decree be a nullity? No, sir. So in which case the decree will be a nullity? Sir, if there is no subject matter jurisdiction, then there will be a nullity. OK. Uh, what is the concept of uh, res geste? Sir, res geste means part of same transaction. If anything happened, happened. So, sir. Mm -hmm. So, res justice res, res means part of same transaction. So, eco hochi, uh, eco hochi, apna se year piece to log rite hoto. Tale to log gaye chhe. So, eco to hoga katham. Matte to clearly suda jo chhe. Yes. Sir, res sub res justice means part of same transaction. When any fact which is not an issue, but it is so related to the fact in the issue as to form it a part of transaction, whether it has occurred at the same time or place, 
or at different times and places, then it will be raised up, raised just day. Then in raised just day, there, there will be continuity of action, proximity of time, proximity of place, and community of design. Okay, and any famous judgment related to it? R versus wedding field. And Ratan okay. versus who, uh, who is considered as a hostile witness? So generally, a party who calls the witness expects that the party will give evidence in his favor. But when that doesn't happen, then uh, that witness will be called as a hostile witness. And if the provision is given under 154 of Indian Evidence Act. Okay, so suppose uh, a hostile, whatever the hostile witness has said, will that be taken as a piece of evidence or it will be completely discarded or some part of it can be taken as, as no, evidence? Sir, no, sir, totally it cannot be discarded. Some part of it can be used by the party. Okay, so. Uh, what do you mean by hearsay evidence and what are the exceptions to hearsay? So hearsay evidence are those uh, so those are uh, those are not direct ev evidences which we hear from others that is hearsay evidences and one exception is the third section 30 to 1 where it is a dying declaration or it is a um, rest geste these all are exception to hearsay evidence. Okay. Uh, what are the type of mortgages that you know in contract act? Uh, sir, in uh, there are um, so simple, there are English mortgage, simple mortgage, conditional mortgage by conditional sale, and uh, use of procedure mortgage, mortgage by deposit of title deed, and anomalous mortgage. OK, then what is this English mortgage which you first mentioned? So in English mortgage, the property is not trans property is transferred. And also, the mortgager bind himself that if he doesn't pay the mortgage money, then his property can be sold and the mortgage money can be recovered. Okay. So, uh, what do you mean by charge? What is the meaning of charge? So, when, uh, sir, in CPC or in TP, CRPC or in TP, transfer of property? You tell me both. Okay, sir. So if it is uh, in transfer of property, then when one property, immovable property, has been transferred to another for the purpose of payment of any money, and it may be either by the act of the parties or by operation of law, and the transaction, if it doesn't amount to uh, mortgage, then it will be called a charge. And in the CRPC, charge is when it is an intimation given to the accused that what offenses, what offenses he has to face during his trial so that he can prepare well for his defense. Okay. So under Indian Penal Code uh, or under the CRPC, is there any provision that a private citizen can arrest? a proclaimed offender or someone who has committed a crime? Yes. Yes, sir. If we go to section 43 of uh, CRPC, it, it is mentioned that a private person can also arrest a person who in his presence commit a non billable offense and is also a proclaimed offender. Or is also a proclaimed offender. OK. So uh, tell me something about uh, 
आर्टिकल फोर्टी फोर ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वट यू नो अबाउट आर्टिकल फोर्टी फोर सर आर्टिकल फोर्टी फोर से यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड that there should be a civil code which will be dealing with all the religions like hindu muslim and all the religions of india there will be a single civil code mm -hmm. any state in india where uniform civil code has already been implemented sa so goa and uttarakhand is on its way to implement it Uttarakhand has implemented it. No sir, it is about to implement it. It is about to implement it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what are the uh, various uh, writs under Article Thirty Two? Just explain each of the writs. So there are generally five kinds of writs are there. That is mandamus, habeas corpus, prohibition. Quaranto and certiorari. The habeas corpus is a writ which is generally filed when a person has been illegally detained or arrested. He or any of his relative can make an writ in the court so that he can be liberated. And prohibition is a writ which is uh, granted by higher court to the lower court, saying that you should not be doing this. act prohibiting the lower court from doing any act and sir certiorari is that when the higher court orders a lower court if the lower court has exercised its jurisdiction illegally irregularly then higher court may ask the lower court that to stop the proceeding and the higher court will be dealing with that matter and its quaranto means when there is any public office and any person is appointed without authority then it says that by what authority you have been appointed so it can be filed to cause that upon you which of this following bits can be uh, issued to a private individual private citizen have is corpus have is corpus can be issued so among all the fundamental rights according to you which fundamental right is the most important and why sir i think article 21 is the uh, important fundamental right because it deals with the citizen that is life and liberty which is very special to every citizen every person in fact so i think 21 is the most important article not 32 so 32 is important but if there will be no 21 then um, there is no need for 32 also mm -hmm. okay is the right to life and personal liberty absolute or there are some qualified restrictions No, so it's not absolute. It is in the interest of state that can be curtailed. That right can be curtailed. Okay. Okay. Fine. So. what were your optionals you said one was crime and tort yes, sir, sir. Law. no hmm. sir it's crime and tort and law property and and contract yeah. and contract yes, okay sir. so what are the essentials of a contract under the indian contract act so there must be free consent between the party and the the parties must be competent and they should not be otherwise disqualified by law so i don't remember other remedies so there must be lawful object and lawful consideration
Okay, fine. So you did not have personal law, right? Okay. So uh, in IPC, can you tell me what is the difference between theft, robbery, and dockity? Sir, the dockity is the uh, aggravated form of robbery, and uh, robbery uh, can be committed either by way of theft and extortion. So they all are property offenses. In uh, theft, there will be uh, the subject matter will be movable, but in robbery, if it is by way of extortion, immovable property can also be exerted. And in Dakati, five or more persons are required, but there is no such requirement in theft and Dakati, theft and robbery. And generally, uh, theft and robbery they are tribal by magistrate of first class and. Uh, Dakati is a tribal by court of session and theft is compoundable but Dakati is not compoundable. Okay, fine. So that will be the end of the interview, uh, the feedback. Uh, the content of answer is but but uh, अपनों मने जो वेरे पहुँचो दिख के डल है जो चीज़ है डा ओके तो सही टाइप टिके देखी हुए टिके एंथुसियाज़म जो दे आने का दिवे तो हल्ले बेटर है बस माइल टाइप टिके रोयबा पता सही टाइप टिके देखी हुए बेसिस सीरियस एज में नहीं जो तो अपन द आंसर कॉर्ड चल दी कंटेंट ऑफ़ आंसर इज़ आल्सो गुड तो but how you are saying it, that also matters in interview. Sir, Sir, I smile Okay, smile. Smile Sometimes you are a little bit serious. Okay. तेरे दिन सुना टिके हमें अब तक उधर जो देखी कि ये कर दे परिवार सर मु गुटे क्वेश्चन पाचा था तो इसे हमारा जो सीआई फॉर्म अच्छे से इतने लिखा है जी खाली दी टा ऑप्शनल पक मने से मानों को जाने आप ही इसे का तीन टा जगह ऑप्शनल पढ़ के जीवाओ पढ़े हो कि खाली दी टा ऑप्शनल जोड़ा लिखी हो डीटा ऑप्शनल सर लेक्चर ना करो डीटा ऑप्शनल थे ऑप्शनल ऑप्शनल टू अपन को तीन टा ऑप्शनल हो चुके ना अपन तीन टा जगह लिखते हैं वन टू थ्री करके लिखते हैं सर सेट है वो स्पेस नहीं खाली वन टू ही है जी अपन ना वन और टू साइड एंड थ्री करके लिखते हैं रिपेयर तो सिर्फ तो किचन है किसी अपन ऑप्शनल सर खाली ताले मुट्ठ के बेसी डॉ डॉ कॉइल वाले ठीक है सर डॉरी जाऊँ चाहो नहीं डॉरी इन्फेक्ट मुट्ठ के डॉ इन्फेक्ट मुट्ठ साथ ठीक है डॉरी जाऊँ चाहो क्योंकि ना आज ही अपन को कोई थले प्रोसेजर पच्चे रहे तो मु बाकी गुड़ा का ठीक है तो बहुत से ओवरलुक मैंने ठीक है कॉरी बनना थे भी सर ओवरऑल पचली परिवे करंट अफेयर्स ऊपर पचली परिवे लॉ रिलेटेड तो नो यू बी प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर एवरीथिंग जोड़ा आस्ती भाल रहे कोई भी जोड़ा आस्तु नहीं कोई देव मत आस्तु नहीं किसी गेस की किसी ब्लॉफ परिवार आपने सर अपन जो पचली वेन इंटर लोकेटरी ऑर्डर कैन बी पास नो सर कौन से थे कोई था नहीं सेतर भुजाई होगी क्या तोड़े पास करेंगे कोर्ट सर ड्यूरिंग द सूट ये टा पास करा हुए हाँ इंटरिम टाइप रहा ठीक है तो जो तोड़े फाइनलिटी फाइनल ये दिया ही नहीं तब इतने से टा कोर्ट दोच ओके सर ठीक है वरच सर अपन जो अपन के लिए बोटे क्वेश्चन सर लास्ट 
आपण से थिओरी क्लास रे आपण कहिथिले हमकु हिजा विषय पर जदि पचारिबे आपण आपण कर व्यू ता पर्सनल व्यू न दे के अकॉर्डिंग टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन देबे सर हिजा नो एनी ओपिनियन पचर प्रति माने यू हैव टू गिव योर ओपिनियन विद इन द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जदि आपण किछि गोटे एक्स्ट्रा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल कहउ जंती तो सेटा ठीक हबन हिजाब ऊपर से पचारले हम किमति कहिबो जदि बाय चांस पचारले एबे तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेटा रिजर्व कर रखि छि किछि कहि नांती ओ हाई कोर्ट तो कहि दै छेंती कि एटा बैन कर दवा कथा होले त हम सब किमति हाई कोर्ट एंटी कहि नांती कि बैन कर दवा कथा सेटा बुझोंत हाई कोर्ट कोन कहि के हाई कोर्ट कहि के कि सेटा क्लासरूम भीतर क्लासरूम रे हां ना क्लासरूम भीतर हां कर्नाटक गवर्नमेंट निजे सुप्रीम कोर्ट रे कहि छि कि स्कूल भीतर से माने पिंदि परिबे किछु असुविधा नै स्कूल कंपाउंड भीतर दे आर अलाउड टू वेयर ओनली इनसाइड द क्लासरूम दे आर नॉट अलाउड ओके तांको कहबा कथा कि एथरे यूनिफॉर्मिटी रहिबनी डिसिप्लिन रहिबनी डिफरेंट रिलीजन द लोको से मन तक रिलीजियस ड्रेस पिंदि कि बसिबे केन आपन यदि जो गोटे रिलीजन पे अलाउड करबे तो सब रिलीजन पे अलाउड करबे आई गेस तो नो सेटा आपन तो कहि परे असुविधा तापरे कोर्ट्स हैव आल्सो हर्ड द व्यूज ऑफ इस्लामिक स्कॉलर्स जो माने कहले कि एटा एसेंशियल पार्ट नो इस्लाम ठीक अछि देयर आर सर्टेन एसेंशियल थिंग्स ऑफ एवरी रिलीजन जेंति कि सिखिज्म रो ओके जो माने सिक्स अछि ताको पे अगर टर्बन टा एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ द रिलीजन ठीक अछि सेंति सब रिलीजन रे गोटे गोटे किछि एसेंशियल पार्ट थिबो एटा तांकर एसेंशियल पार्ट नहु एटा टेक्निकल पॉइंट त अपन सेंति कहिबे निजो ओपिनियन रे बेसी कहिबे ठीक अछि मतलब आ कुछ होबा कथा नहु नो सेटा सिविल सर्विस पे ठीक अछि बट फॉर जुडिशियल सर्विस स्ट्रिक्टली यू विल स्टे इन द ओके एम्बिट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड से एंड व्हाट सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज सेड इन सर्टेन केसेस फॉर एग्जांपल एक केस से सुप्रीम कोर्ट ए पर्यंत रायटा दे नांती फाइनल ले तनो से जहा का मजिर भी से जहा कहि चंदी से गुडा कहि परे सर मो सर मो कहिला बेले मो फेस र बेसी मूवमेंट की कोन माने अलग अलग होनी बहुत सीरियस रो जी फेस ता ठीक है सर जेंदर बहुत चिंता रे अछंदी तो ठीक है स्माइल का मेंटेन करबियो ते बेटर ठीक है ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू